This video is sponsored by Skillshare. I got this image here, which is so typical of the gold crest. It's not always about majestic raptors or large animals with antlers. The forest is full of small birds with a lot of charisma and personality if you just take the time to watch them closely. Now I'm in the, the pine forest once again, trying to photograph the gold crest. It's a beautiful day with not much wind and I think I'm going to get a great day. I can hear some birds already in the trees and uh, so I'm just going to go up and find that like uh, regular spot that I used to sit in and photograph. So that is the plan though. The fun fact about the, the gold crest that I read about recently is that the gold crest need to feed uh, around every five to ten seconds uh, and that is a lot and that explains why it's so hyperactive and always on the move so uh, that is why it's a bit challenge to photograph this small small bird Okay, now I have found my regular spot here with that little tree, that little Christmas tree, and I hope to get that gold crest around that tree there. So that is the plan, and it's so quiet in the forest. I almost feel like whispering all the time, because not to destroy that atmosphere, but I can hear the birds around in the forest there. So I know there are gold crest. So this is going to be a promising day. Uh, I love this, this little tree here because of the hanging branch here and uh, that can create some really cool uh, perches for the bird to sit on and hopefully I will get some cool images. I have my Tragopan V6 so it's just to uh, get out my camera off the camera bag and start to wait for the bird. I got this image here, which is so typical of the gold crest, hanging down the branch, looking for food. And uh, as I saw this uh, gold crest hanging down, I was like focused just on the head. So it's pin sharp on the head, and you get a little bit surrounding and uh, branches like sticking on the front, so we get some foreground. And I also got a little bit of reflection from yesterday's uh, rainfall. Uh, so that was really cool and adding to the image, that was nice, nice. Now I'm starting to get a lot of birds around this area here. And I think I got some sh good shots already. 
and I actually am not using the A priority mode this time. I switched to manual mode, so I have a shutter speed of around 200 to 250 of a second. I see that this um, this area, this tree here, there's a lot of different light situation here, and most of the time it's a 200 to 250 of a second. It's a good uh, exposure for this. But the thing is, because the camera cannot like comprehend the same thing that my eye does, uh, I, I did not get any good exposures on aperture mode here. So I use manual mode now to control that. I know that my exposure is uh, around okay every time I shoot. So um, this is uh, the reason. And my ISO is 1600 uh, to get that shutter speed there because I have the bird in shadow and it's full sun out now but it's a little bit dark here, so I need to have that a uh, little bit higher ISO. But yeah, that is okay. But listen, it's so many birds here. Oh, nice. I love just sitting in the blind here and photograph the small birds. Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of videos, all from photography, videography, cooking, languages, all you can think of. For the moment I am enjoying a class from famous YouTuber Marques Brownlee. He explains how he made his videos and all his experience on crafting those YouTube videos. I have a lot to learn from this guy here and he really goes into depth of explaining how to craft a video from scripting to planning and shooting of videos so I can be a better videographer and document everything around me. And right now we are giving away free trial ship. So the first thousand people who click the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video.